Before we proceed to defining new keyboard shortcuts, I have noticed that there is one mapping which is responsible for removing highlights from search matches. This mapping works in all Vim modes, but actually we need it to work only in normal mode. Otherwise, if we're going to activate visual mode to select some text and then press escape, it is going to not only leave select mode, but also remove highlights from search matches. So I would like to make this mapping only work in normal mode. And we can do so by simply adding another letter N in this mapping, like so. Which basically stands for normal mode. After doing this change, we might need to fully restart an ID. And from now on, the mapping to remove highlights from search matches will only be active when we are in normal mode. So now that we are done with that, let's keep adding new keyboard shortcuts. The first mapping I'm going to add in this lesson will be responsible for executing find usages command. I'm going to use space u g for this command. And now after sourcing the changes, let's try it out. First of all, we have to position the cursor on top of some element and then when pressing space u g, we'll simply get additional panel with the list of all those places where this element is being used. And we can just select any element from this list, press enter and navigate to that place. In addition to this mapping, I'm going to add another one, which will be pretty similar, but instead of showing results in a separate panel, it is going to open up floating window with all the places where particular symbol is being used. For this, I'm going to use space u u, and the command is called show usages. Let's also add another mapping to quickly view source of a particular symbol. So by pressing space vs while having our cursor on a particular element, it is supposed to open up the file with the definition of that element. So let's try these two shortcuts. I'm going to position the cursor on the controller class name and press space u u. Right away I'm gonna get such floating window with the list of all the places where this symbol is being used. And in case I'm gonna have to quickly navigate to the source file where a particular element is defined, for example this authorizes requests trait, I'll just press space vs and the file with the definition will be opened. But sometimes it might also be useful to open up such definition in a floating window instead of opening up the file, so I'm going to define the following shortcut space im, which stands for implementation, and the command that we need in this case is called quick implementation. So let's source new changes by pressing space cs and try it out. Once I'm going to press space im, I'll get such floating window with a definition of the element. Another very similar command to showing implementation in the floating window is called quick type definition. It is going to show definition of the type. Also in the floating window, I'm going to position the cursor on a particular type and after pressing sequence of keys space TED, I'll get a floating window with the definition of this type. And by the way, TED stands for type definition to quickly memorize this shortcut. The next two shortcuts will allow us to open up pop-up with some helpful information about certain elements. The first shortcut will call the command named expression type info. So what this actually means is that when we are going to select certain expression and then press this shortcut, it is going to show us the type of this evaluated expression. We will try it out in a little bit, but for now let's add one more shortcut, and this one will show pop-up with quick documentation. Once again let's source the configuration file and try the first combination. I'm going to firstly position my cursor on some expression and then press space ti. I'll get additional list where I can choose which expression I'm interested in, and after pressing enter, we'll get the type of this expression. And as for the other shortcut, which is used 
to show quick documentation of a particular element once I'm going to position the cursor on some element and press space SH, which stands for show hover info. I'll get such kind of window, which in this case is the signature of the constructor of the reset password notification class. And finally, let's add one more mapping in this lesson, which is going to be used to show the file structure. So for example, if we're inside of the file with class definition, by pressing the following sequence of keys, which is space O O, we will be able to quickly see all the properties as well as method of the class. After sourcing this file, I'll switch over to the definition of with relationships trait. And when pressing space O O, I'll get floating window with the structure of this trait, which in this case only shows all available methods in this trait. And by the way, we can use the following keyboard shortcuts to navigate through the list. To go down, we can press Ctrl N, which means next. And to go up, we can press Ctrl P, which means previous. And these shortcuts to go up and down in the list work not only for this list, but also for others. And this is it for this lesson. We'll keep going in the next one.